What's up guys, welcome back to yet another review video. So in this video, we'll review the latest build of Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus 9 series, which was based on Oxygen OS 12.1. And this was the first stable build based on 12.1. As always, we use the device as a primary phone for few days so that we guys can update you about the bugs present, battery backup, camera performance and other things. And in this video also, we'll be doing the same. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 9 which is currently running on the latest build of Oxygen OS. As you can see here, so I've used this device almost for 4 days now and I can say Oxygen OS 12 is now quite stable but there are few minor glitches here and there which we'll talk about them in this video. Before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video and still we have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So talking about the first issue which I have been encountering on my OnePlus 9 after updating to the latest build that's related to Wi-Fi calling. So here you can see we have enabled Wi-Fi calling. I basically use Wi-Fi calling feature on my devices. And if you take a look at the status bar, right now it says Wi-Fi calling, but this thing keeps switching in between. Sometimes it switched to LTE, so I don't get the support of Wi-Fi calling. So this is an issue which I have been encountering on my OnePlus 9 series and OnePlus 8 series. Here you can see this was a screenshot taken and the device switches to LTE for few seconds and later back to Wi-Fi calling. The only device which doesn't have this issue and that's my OnePlus 10 Pro. Also on this particular build, I have seen few jitters while using the device. For example, if I'm using YouTube, sometimes navigation gestures doesn't work and the launcher stucks at one point. That's again a temporary issue which gets fixed automatically. One of the major issues which most users have been facing on Oxygen OS 12 and that's related to gmail notification so this thing oneplus have still not fixed let me open my gmail application so here you can see i have so many mails which arrived today but i did not get a single notification from gmail all the necessary permissions have been allowed and we have also turned off battery optimization for gmail application though still this issue is present on oxygen os 12 and another issue is again related to notification panel so it's not related to notification it's related to notification panel so whenever i'm using light background you can see in the status bar there is an application between clock and this youtube icon which is instagram and if you use the white background sometimes the icon of that application do appears in white color which is completely invisible so here you can see the same time I took a screenshot wherein I had messages from Instagram app and the icon was not being seen in the status bar. After that, now most of the users are facing battery drain issues with applications like Google Play services and few more applications from Google. So we have done a detailed article on this. You guys can check out that article to fix the issues. You can say battery issues which is being caused by Google applications. So basically this is not an issue from OnePlus. This is a problem with Google applications and some OnePlus 9 series users did not get this RAM expansion feature after updating to 12.1. So I'm not sure guys why this happened but if you guys don't see this option in the settings then there are possibilities that you might have an 12 GB variant because OnePlus in past said that RAM expansion feature or you can say virtual RAM won't be given to devices which have 12 GB of actual RAM. Mine is 8 GB RAM variant and I do have the RAM expansion feature present on my device. Also there are some users who are facing issues if they are using Airtel SIM card on their device though in the community poll or community tab user haven't mentioned the exact issue but I personally use Airtel SIM card which is my primary number and on that till now I haven't faced any kind of issues. And I also saw a few comments wherein users complained about the audio quality using Bluetooth devices. So I personally checked out with two birds. I did not see any kind of issues with the Bluetooth services either if you are playing game or even on calls. First let's talk about the battery backup which I have been getting on my. So this was the first cycle where you can see I got 5 hours and 12 minutes of screen on time with my normal usage. Second time I got 4 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time again with my normal usage. If we talk about the overnight battery drain. So here is a screenshot where you can see I slept around 12, 19. That time the battery percentage was 18. And when I woke up in the morning at around 8 o'clock, the battery percentage was 12. And this battery drain overnight is with always on display turned on, but that was set to power saving mode. 
Okay, so when it comes to battery part or charging part, there are few users who are facing issues. They are not able to get 65 watt written on their lock screen when they keep the device for charge. Though I tested out on my device, it showed 65 watt warp charging, but the charging time was too much. So here you can see device battery percentage was 4% and the timing was 10 1 when I kept my device for charging and the device charged at 11 1. So which took almost 60 minutes to charge completely from 0 to 100. And I did not feel that the device is being charged at 65 watt. So this thing I have given a feedback to OnePlus let's see if they fixes this issue or not because charging time is too much i have never seen my oneplus 9 taking exactly one hour to charge from 0 to 100. now coming to the camera performance of c.60 update i clicked few shots in last two three days in the main camera portrait there is still some smoothing going on in the subject the texture of skin is not clear although the edge detection is good enough oneplus should fix this smoothing of skin in portrait mode Front selfies are decent, as usual no changes here. There are still some occasions where selfie shots sometimes looks flat and sometimes it overexposes depending on the lighting situation. Coming to the main camera shots, in daylight it's very good. The details, dynamic range is really good. The color profile is slightly warm which is pleasing to eyes. But in some occasions the processing tends to crush the shadow a bit. When it comes to night shot, is the similar story every time. Overall shots is good. But when we zoom in sometimes we miss details and sharpness because of the noise reduction it's doing. In situations where there are street lights, the processing struggles to control the light from it. Overall I did not see any kind of major improvement in the camera compared to the previous builds. And at last, let's talk about the performance part. So whenever I have to test out the performance of my device, I do gaming, which gives me a better idea. So as you all are aware, we don't get the support of 90 FPS in Battlegrounds Mobile India, and I mostly play this game. So if you take a look at the graphic settings, we do get the support of 90 FPS, but whenever you enable FPS meter, we only get to see 60 FPS. And in past, I used to test gaming in TDM, but this time I played a full match and you won't believe guys, there was lot of frame drops. I wasn't even able to play the game. I just played one match, which got completely screwed up because of the FPS drop. I have seen FPS going down up to 20 FPS when there are lot many teams around you or if you involve in any fight there also I did notice a lot of frame drops. Here are few clips from that gameplay wherein you can clearly see the FPS drop. You guys also let me know in the comment section below whether you guys notice the FPS drop while gaming or not. Mostly Battlegrounds Mobile India. This wasn't expected from OnePlus with 60 FPS also we are not getting constant FPS while gaming. Though OnePlus devices are also known for gaming. But still you guys let me know in the comment section below how is the gaming performance on OnePlus 9 series after the update of Oxygen OS 12. I need a weapon. I need a weapon. I'm so guys this was a complete review of oxygen os 12.1 now you guys must be aware what all minor issues present on this latest build of oxygen os 12.1 and i hope you guys will be able to decide whether to update your device to this build or not and if i have missed out any issue which you guys must be facing and i am not facing then do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day